Hello, gamer. Welcome to ZGC. My name is Aurelius, and today we're not necessarily playing uh, Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia, but as you can see by what's on your screen right now, what's next? You, that means an update is coming, and believe me, we're going to go over all of those juicy details um, uh, here soon. But before we get into all of those details, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go over to the notification bell and set it to all. That way you never miss out on an Evolution 2 Battle for Utopia video. Um, also, check out all my social media links. They will be down there in the description section. Um, so, yeah, go check them out. Uh, they plan to release this next update near the end of August. Uh, they plan to introduce duels, uh, which if you guys were here day one, you know, duels were a thing. It was Hero Day. Uh, every Sunday, you challenge people that I mean from the information and the little video over there on their Facebook page. Definitely go check it out. Uh, they have made some changes to it, like partners <laughs> can come along with you and, you know, uh, we'll be able to do it at any time we want. You know, uh, they are also revamping Citadel battles. Uh, again, over there on the Facebook page, they have a video of a three-man team. So Citadel Defense is going to be now a three-man raid. So, yeah. <laughs> and then um, we're going to be getting a brand new partner, which is something I was talking about <laughs> not too long ago. And they're adding a brand new Dominion Scout as well so uh to start things off we're going to talk about the citadel battles um you'll battle together with two other players um you'll have to clear the outskirts of the citadel from the hordes of side creatures kind of what we do now whenever citadel defense comes up um in the battles you can keep track of damage inflicted by each of the participants after the battle is finished you will receive citadel coins and the amount depends on where you place so it's kind of like co-ops are now where it is going to be competitive uh you do want to do the most damage when you're doing this so you can get more or citadel coins i mean if you're like in a position like i am uh just I, all i need citadel coins for is is uh blueprints right now that's all i'm doing and i'm only doing that once a day i'm not refreshing like i got all the blueprints for for uh the citadel armor raider marcus and and uh the matriarch sniper rifle uh for whenever rank x comes out out and unless that amount goes up i have no need for citadel coins other than the daily resources and the blueprints which my viper and kk and d they can definitely be leveled up but you know i even at max i don't plan on using either one i'm just doing it to to do it so but for newer players uh and you don't have everything like you're chasing the citadel armor or matrix or sniper rifle you want to be able to do the most damage in this uh brand new citadel that will be coming up and to do that uh similar to the tournaments where where uh every week the enemies or you get bonus points for using certain certain types of damage um this will also apply to the citadel so let's say it's like fire and frag you know um so you want to bring like your dragon machine gun or a brand new weapon which we'll talk about a little bit later on but uh yeah you want to do that so you can stack those extra buttons points i mean you can go in there with the tornado uh machine gun per se and like the chimera shotgun uh, but you won't be getting the bonus points for doing the the type damage for that particular day or week. Uh, you know, they didn't go into details on how that would work. They would just say, oh, no, they did say uh, the damage will change every single week. So whatever is up there, let's say it's fire, just go with all your dragon. Or if you have the salamander flamethrower, you know, just bring that to these things to, to get those extra bonus points. Um, if you get first place uh, several times in a row, you can get additional rewards for a victory streak um take part in the battles you will need tokens and the tokens will refresh at 5 a.m every day which is like the hard <laughs> reset of 5 a.m pacific time um yeah i like to call that the hard reset i mean there are some other small things that reset at 
at different times, kind of like the the shops which refresh at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. And there's like some stuff that that refreshes like at zero two in the morning. Um, I'm used to saying zero two because <laughs> Defo has a lot. They release a lot of their events at zero two U two C. UTC and you know America are the only ones that use a 12 hour clock you know the rest of the world uses a 24 hour clock you know um even when I was in the military we used a 24 hour clock so I'm used to saying things like 02 08 1700 stuff like that so um yeah but 02 or 2 a.m in the morning pacific time i should say is when stuff like the tournament will start and end and so uh, i wish they would just combine it all and just get like one hard reset time but it is what it is uh, uh you saw a little video of of the citadel defense the three-man raid you saw all three of them doing damage and everything um there will also be a new sector appearing on the map in the sector you can duel against other players uh, to start searching for an appointment, just open up the new sector and press the battle button. Besides that, just like co-op battles, you will be receiving invitations from other players. Um, you will need special tokens for participation, which is kind of cool. And these tokens will reset every hour. So kind of like uh, most quote-unquote team RPG games right now, you know, where you build like a team of four or three or five and seven or nine, you know, um... Uh, their battle arenas they usually have have either tokens that refresh daily at a hard time or you know you'll get a token like one every hour one every five hours something like that so so this will work in a very similar capacity i don't know how many tokens <laughs> we'll have like i said when duels were a thing back on day one i think we can do like 10 duels like every Sunday, I, I don't see it being that much, especially if it's refreshing every hour. I can see it being capped at like three or five, you know. Um, and of course, we might be able to spin gems if you want to duel more than that. But I'm glad that they're using the tokens to actually do the duel because with the old school duels, you'd actually have to put up your own resources in the form of biofuel to actually... Um, get a duel and winner takes all so if you bet a thousand biofuel and you lost you just lost a thousand biofuel um which was very very critical <laughs> at that point of the game because nobody had anything um so the battle itself will last for a limited time i do believe it was about a minute um um on day one and will end when one of the participants collects the required amount of points so it looks like it's going to be capped at a point, kind of like a Call of Duty uh, thing or or Battlefield, you know, something like that, where, you know, you're not only racing for kills, but if you don't get the kills, if neither team gets the kills, there's also a point cap. And when that team reaches that point cap, that's when the game ends. So um, you can get points for killing your opponent and a fewer points for killing their partner during the paddle you can also complete side tasks for example perform a headshot with a or a grenade kill uh when such a task is completed you'll get additional rewards each victory will help you advance along the chain of rewards which is reset every day uh one of the most exciting rewards is at the end of the chain uh the parts of assembling the new weapon the avalanche mortar this is the brand new weapon i was talking about that can do explosive damage and we'll be talking about that next so there is a point to this kind of like how they did the hunter crawlers event where you can go in twice and depending on how many kills you get you get rewards and every so often you'll get pieces of that new uh armor the crested armor so uh, i imagine this would work in a very similar capacity and with tokens refreshing every hour you know i'm guessing every day the rewards are going to be a lot with you know the final reward being actual fragment pieces for for this uh avalanche mortar and here we have a 
video of a duel in action, which I was just shocked when I saw this video for the first time. You, as you can see, there's the two players going at it. Somehow he got a side charge, so we'll be able to use size. There he was throwing a grenade. Um, and you can see both partners shooting at the same targets and everything, too. So, like... Um, Unfortunately, they didn't have the HUD up, so I don't know if we'll be able to use our partner skills in that. I mean, I imagine we would. I mean, they're throwing uh, side charges at each other and everything. So, yeah, I, I imagine partner skills would be awesome. So, like, Raider Marcus would probably be an excellent, excellent choice for this because his dynamite just takes up so much room. And, you know, Fido with, with his... Uh, uh, special takes up a lot of of area too, or covers a lot of area too. So uh, I imagine once these duel starts, we'll be seeing a lot of those two in there. But uh, another thing they didn't show was the sniper, and you know they mentioned getting headshots. So I don't know why they didn't have the HUD up for that. Uh, anyways, a brand new weapon you will be doing the duels to obtain is called the Avalanche Mortar. Um, you can get this, like I said, by doing the duels. Um, it's a unique, it's unique bombardment ability makes its shells fly in an arc trajectory and deals frag damage upon impact, uh, to all targets within a kill zone. So, uh, if you don't know about frag damage and how it works, like, unlike acid and sh shock slash energy i like calling it shock because they have the little lightning bolt in, in their symbol but it's actually technically energy and and uh acid damage you know they all have weaknesses and and strengths against certain types of enemies whereas frag damage is blanket 100 percent damage across the board if you don't know what type of damage to do to an enemy just use frag damage and it will do 100 percent of the damage all the time you know um unfortunately when it comes to frag damage a lot of that is hidden in grenades which is a valuable resource and depending on your biofuel reserves you may not always have access to grenades or maybe you just like maxing out your grenades and never using them they're just there because you don't want to spend the biofuel um to <laughs> craft more of them you know uh, or whatever the case may be and even the grenades can get into typings with fire and and uh acid damage so um very few weapons in the game actually do frag damage. I know the Spec Ops weapons do. The Spec Ops uh, Assault Rifle and Sniper Rifle uh, do frag damage. But that's like every third shot with the AR. And of course, your Sniper Rifle, you just can't use that 100% of the time to do your damage. And so, uh, yeah, doing neutral damage, that's... 100% effective 100% of the time is kind of a luxury in this game. So from the video, it looks like it's doing pretty good damage. Um, it's definitely taking out the side spiders in one shot. It looks like a couple of shots for the Z cultists. Actually, the Z cultists was taking a couple of hits. You know, um, they looked like about four or five shots to kill a crusted collar. So yeah, uh, okay damage compared to what we have now um it's just it's gonna have that airy uh, effect and the only other machine gun that has like some kind of airy effect uh directly from his shots is the tornado machine gun i mean you can argue the dragon machine gun um but that le like leaves pools of fire in there and they don't move around necessarily like you can't necessarily change where those pools of fire are, are, are going to uh end up you know so um yeah it looks like a very very interesting weapon um of course once we get it into our hands we'll definitely have to judge for ourselves how much damage is it is it doing and if it's actually worth bringing along to all of your dominion and side fights which against the dominion um yeah they do they group up in big clusters a lot but the problem is with frag damage that's what pops dominion's heads off and dominion sense with their heads off is never a good thing so uh we'll see how effective that is when this all comes around but that's going to be it for all the update details 
that the devs have released just this week alone. I mean, they said the end of August is when we can expect this update. I mean, we're still, we're barely outside of the first week of August right now. So, like, oh my goodness, there's just going to be so, so much more. Uh, comment we still haven't talked they still haven't released details on on our our brand new partner you know which was something that they mentioned was going to be coming up as for what else there could be i mean i imagine more chips more scientific progress maybe uh, a couple more futures um projects to do but you know, outside of that, is is not much else I can think of that could could be coming. So, um, again, thank you for watching. I hope you're as excited for this update as I am, and I'll see you later, gamers.